Hi, this is Cass from Aussie Cass Plays, and welcome to my Hilda Create a Sim. For those of you who don't have Netflix or maybe don't watch kids' shows on Netflix, Hilda is a British Canadian animated TV series based on a graphic novel with the same name, which is by someone called Luke Pearson. It follows the adventures of Hilda, who's a girl who lives in the wilderness with her mum, Joanna, in a world that is sort of late 20th century you know, fairly modern Scandinavia, but with the fantasy mythological creatures are, are real. Um, it, in like the first two or three episodes, the two of them have to move to the local town of Trollberg, or uh, the local city, and Hilda, who's only ever lived with her mum in the wilderness, is suddenly forced to adapt to city life, make friends. You know, she thinks that the city is boring and the wilderness is amazing, and so she has to basically learn to adapt and likewise her mum has to deal with things like changing jobs, um, finding work, that kind of thing. I love this show. I've seen it once already. I'm actually currently watching it again for the second time in the last few months. Um, my son and I really enjoy it. We like watch to watch it together and I think one of the reasons that I really appreciate it is because it shows a healthy and informed dynamic between a single parent and their kid. Like there are other single parents out there but in the kind of fantasy context usually the parents in the dark they don't know what's going on. So for example think Joyce from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Um, it's almost a requirement of the plot device. You know if, if the parents ignorant the kid can act independently and they're not going to them a parent asking for help, um, which empowers the child character or the sort of, the I'm going to say child because in this case Hilda's meant to be a child. Um, yeah, and it's, I, I get the reasons for it, but at the same time I love that in Hilda the mother is understanding of her daughter, she's supportive of her daughter, she's there, she sometimes goes on adventures with her daughter. You know, when they're chasing someone through the streets, her mum's the one that's like, hey, you know, come this way, I know a shortcut. I really, really love that. I, and as a single parent myself, I love seeing that portrayed in the media. So that's why I personally love it. My son loves it because there's monsters and adventures and stuff, which also valid. Now, with my Hilda Sim, I have made her a teenager instead of a child. My reason for that was very simple. I didn't want to use custom content and I wanted Hilda to have blue hair because the character has blue hair. Uh, so I made her a teen. I, it's a shame I would have liked to have made her a child, but I think it works too. And I really dig the kind of teen aesthetic, Hilda's aesthetic on the teenager, you know, with the, the sort of blue sweatshirts and jumpers and jackets because it's cold in Scandinavia or fantasy equivalent of Scandinavia. Um, and I love that she wears big stomping boots to run around in. Yeah, I just, I dig the whole thing and I think it works really well on a teenager. Her mother is a bit more frumpy middle age, I guess you could say, which again, I could find totally relatable. Um, she doesn't have her daughter's blue hair. I'm actually intrigued by that. And I assume that Hilda's appearance is like the colors come from her presumably her father we don't actually know anything about him uh, I actually tried because their coloring is so different I actually spent quite a bit of time I made the eyes the same shape I tried to get a similar shaped pair of lips the nose is the same shape I tried to sort of make the family resemblance clear in other ways so you'll see I spent quite a bit of time flicking between them testing out different chins and different you know facial structures and stuff which for a cartoon character kind of yeah I've not done that with a cartoon character before but I really wanted them to look similar to one another so um Hilda's mum is a graphic designer so the closest I think I could find to that was I gave her art type creative aspirations and talents that seemed to be the closest now one of the things that I did that I actually regret a little bit with these sims and I didn't realise until I had 
um, finished recording and uploaded the scenes to the gallery and then was looking at the video afterwards was that the um, I ended up jumping around with the everyday outfit for Joanna quite a bit and I ended up picking the same shirt that I put Hilda in. It, they do wear a similar coloured shirt in the show. Hilda tends to go towards more towards red. Her mum tends to go to, more towards a maroon colour. And her mum would wear a polo shirt, like a turtleneck. And I couldn't find any turtlenecks among the outfits that I had. So I ended up going for a sweatshirt that looked a lot like... Um, like I think it's from the Sparta pack, it's, you know, an exercise sweatshirt kind of thing. But I had already put Hilda in the same shirt and I didn't realise. I did, to defend myself, have a break in recording halfway through to go and deal with something else in the house. Um, so I just, I'd forgotten. I didn't realise until the end. So that's totally awkward. I'm a professional, you guys. I'm a professional. Um, of course, if you were to download the scenes, you could obviously change either of their shirts or anything else about them. That would be fair enough. Uh, you don't have to stick with my... See, that shirt. Oh, no, it's gone. <laughs> it was because I actually really liked the um, off-the-shoulder shirt that I had originally picked for her, and I think I ended up making that her party outfit shirt, because I thought, hey, off-the-shoulder party outfit. Yeah, mistakes were made, as I said. So... I am still pretty happy with the scenes as they turned out. The other thing that's missing from the two of them is that they actually have a deer fox, I think it's called. It's like this gorgeous little white foxy thing with deer antlers um, called Tweak. But I don't have cats and dogs, so my Hilda and Joanna are missing Twig. It's quite sad. Uh, my son was very disappointed when I told him he didn't realise I didn't have cats and dogs, so that might be a thing that I fixed down the track. But for now, it's just the two of them. If, again, you were to download them and did have cats and dogs, you could completely add Twig for yourself. And you should totally do that and leave a comment with a screenshot because I'd love to see it. That would be amazing. Um, so there's not a lot else to tell you guys. I might wrap this commentary up here, actually. So thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this, uh, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe. If you want to download the Hilda and Joanna Sims. My username is Hurricane Cass. That's Hurricane like the weather system and Cass C A S. Um, you can see it there on the screen. And thanks for watching, like I said, and I will talk to you next time.